just high or just shy of the 4,900 pound mark, depending on how you build it. The interesting little 161 octane. Whereas most short length toy haulers tend to be shorter ceiling height. They tend not to be a full 102 wide like this. This is the one that breaks all the rules and says we're gonna give you the biggest thing we can in the shortest length possible. And one of the first questions I always get on one of these right here, the 161 octanes here at Halet RV, is where do you sleep? And we're looking at it. This is a little different. The Happy Jack Power Bed Lift System right here, this is our primary sleeping space. And someone's going to say, well, you know, I've got, you know, a shoulder or hip replacement or whatever. This RV, no RV is for everybody. This is definitely for someone who's probably pretty able of body. So you've got basically what amounts to like two queen beds right here that you can utilize. And a quick note before we get too far along and I forget it. The rear steps that go with the ramp patio, they actually have their own handy little mounting place right here so that they're out of the way. They're not sliding around and banging stuff up, especially in a smaller hauler like this where you have limited uh, storage capacity. Now, you have a couple options. You're going to see this thing arranged in a couple different ways in just a few minutes. If you want to, you can leave the queen bed up. If you're okay with it, just leave the sofa section down and because you, you can drop them separately. And then just flip it down like this at night and bang, there's your bed. And then it's easy daytime, easy nighttime kind of conversion. Another thing that you can do is there's nothing that says you have to leave this in here. And if you want to, you can pull that out and suddenly you have basically like your own locking sort of cargo door. Uh, like if you've got fishing poles and stuff like that, you want to go, uh, you know, up to uh, some, some mountains or whatever, or, you know, creeks off the grid. It gives you a place to be able to keep some long stuff like that, potentially, you know. There's, what I'm saying is, the cool thing about this RV, just like any toy hauler really, is just that it is in, it just intensely flexible. From the flip side looking forward here, you can see a nice wide open loading area and that's kind of one of the things here. You can fit things into this that you can't fit into an eight foot wide crossover type toy hauler camper. Um, and you also have the full Happy Jack power bed and sofa lift system here. So we got a queen bed above, we saw that. And then those sofa benches, they can ride horizontally or vertically to really maximize your loading width or height. Whatever you need, it can provide. And those window shades uh, back there, those are snap-on blackout privacy shades so that you don't have, you know, nosy neighbors peeking at you. And again, a testament to the flexibility of a toy hauler. They're good for so much more. You know, a toy hauler used to be like a garage that you slept in. Now it's like a cool trailer that you can park stuff in. But the thing is, it doesn't have to be motorcycles, golf carts, ATVs, bicycles, dog kennels, kayaks. All that stuff goes very well in here. The uh, dual sofas that we saw in sleeper mode, they come down and you can use them a couple different ways. You can kind of use it for uh, individualized seating with the handy little uh, flip down you know, cup holder console or you can use it as just a straight seating bench over here. Uh, both sides can do the same things. So if you're looking to just have, you know, singles, couples, or, you know, friends and family experience, you wanna get up to, you know, four to six people sitting here and shared a meal, playing some cards, playing a game, you can do all that. That table you can see is fully free floating. Um, you know, you wanna take it out under the power awning, you wanna bring it back here on the deck where I'm standing. And speaking of which, the deck, the, uh, the steps that come with the ramp patio system, they're helping support the end of the ramp. This thing is like super sturdy and stable. It's something I never really considered on them before. And it's just something for some reason I'm really uh, aware of currently. But the table again, free floating, take it wherever you want. And it's got the same sealed edge countertop material that you'll find up in the uh, main kitchen area. Uh, the windows there for great campsite visibility, good airflow, and you're going to find a lot of lights in this thing. Like you see those handy household outlets right there, but you can see how there's a lower light, there's an upper light, and the reason that they're split like that, and they do the same thing on both sides of the camper, by the way, so that uh, if you're sleeping on the lower bed or the upper bed, you always have your own little personal uh, light. Entertainment's definitely a secondary concern on this camper, but you are fully capable of mounting a TV up here, and they even run the HDMI wiring for you that goes over to the entertainment unit we'll see located by the door. We'll see that in just a second. But you see there's two things here, so it sort of looks like there's two places to mount a TV. The larger sticker on the right, that is actually effectively like a second place where you could mount a backup camera, but the reason that they have that there is if you want to, 
you can have a uh, camera pointing in your garage so that in transit you have some wicked jarring you know potholes chuck holes whatever you can always look to make sure that your uh, you know your stuff in here is staying where it's supposed to wider 30 inch entry doors another thing you don't tend to get in smaller haulers either and over here next to the uh, convection microwave we've got as much cabinet space as I think that they're possibly able to muster on a little trailer like this. And there's also LED accent lighting below the countertop line. And that is one full extension drawer there, so you do at least have a place to keep forks, spoons, knives. I like that little level change on the countertop there. I've always, I just like that. I always have. Oh, you know, I, I knew I'd forget to talk about this. That's why I left this little reminder here for myself. Those power uh, bed lifts that we were looking at, Jayco's are always rated any, like, Elevated sleeping position in a Jayco towable RV is always rated for 600 pounds. Well, 300 pounds per sleeping space, but it's a double sleeper, so 600 pounds. I think I mentioned, but yeah, I did. Convection microwave oven. And with this being tall, you've actually got some good working space above the countertop, and there's easy reach outlets and USB plugs there, plus good overhead cabinet space. And why don't we crack those open and take a look? First thing you see is all of our important control stuff, like our, our you know, water heater which has a six gallon vessel, but it's gas, auto ignition, and uh, electric, and fast recharge, which means simultaneous heat mode, to give you just shy of 18 gallons of hot water per hour. A lot of little haulers like this don't have things like that. This also has, you see the red switch right there, that's a kill switch for those power lift uh, things in the back. That's an extra thing Jayco's doing here, a lot of brands don't. I think the idea there is like if you've got friends who think they're funny or kids who don't know what they're doing pushing buttons because they're interested in what the red button did, which is what I did when I was a little kid. Um, it can save you from accidentally, you know, crash and smashing this thing up. We'll get in that bathroom in just a second, but one thing I didn't mention as long as we're talking about the kitchen previously is the eight gallon, uh, no, eight cubic foot uh, gas and electric water heater. So if you're in a park, or if you're off grid, you've always got the ability to keep some food cold here, drinks, whatever. And with this being a full true toy hauler, that's a porcelain foot flush stool, by the way, with plenty of like hip and shoulder room around it. So if you're a little bit of a fluffy type person, you need that extra room, you have it there. But with this being a true toy hauler, it's extra tall, meaning you have all sorts of room above that shower. Because some people are going to say, I can't believe there's no skylight up there. They don't need a skylight up there. Skylights are mostly in RV bathrooms to give you extra headroom in the shower. But you do still, of course, have a power vent fan up here. And I will say I am a fan of the kind of like Platinum Series uh, exterior package they have going on here. It wasn't just the uh, interior wood tones and fabrics and things that got a facelift. I think this is the best looking generation of Octane yet. But then again, this year as a whole, I kind of felt like this is the best generation of Jayco's I've ever seen. As I mentioned uh, when we started, a full 102 width, 102 inches wide, eight and a half feet if you're doing the math. And that is something that most short length toy haulers don't do. It seems like as you start getting under that 30 foot mark, um, you've gone to a lot of crossover style campers, not wide body, not extra tall toy haulers. And here, you know, this is kind of a, a relic of days past. You just don't find a lot of these really short, but full height things anymore. So it's kind of cool to see someone still building one of these. Up front here, of course, we have Jayco's custom engineered chassis. You can see how that tongue actually integrates directly into the chassis, which is one of the things that's helping them because it's a tall trailer, but if uh, a, they didn't do this kind of chassis, it'd be like six inches bigger still. So it's nice that they're keeping that center of gravity a little lower to the ground. Power tongue jack. Uh, the uh, double propane covers, that's another thing that some of the smaller haulers won't get. <laughs> I like that phrase, smaller hauler. Now up front here, you've got sort of a combination kind of either cargo tray, battery rack. Um, you could use that for, uh, like you could put a little cargo box on there to hold your hitching when you're done with it. Um, heck, a small generator could go on there very easily. We do build this with an enclosed heated underbelly typically. Uh, that is an optional piece of equipment, but something that we like here. And that's one of the things we actually, we equip this pretty heavily despite its small size. This is not the lightest weight. This is not the least expensive smaller hauler. It is a full 
feature thing. That that's the difference here. It can haul some of the bigger toys or taller golf carts that uh, uh, you know a crossover style like a Grey Wolf can't handle, for instance. Right on that front there, you've got your black tank flush as well as a full outside shower. It also has a handy little sewer hose holder built right into it up there, so you don't have to get your stinky slinky mixed up with the rest of your uh, you know camp and stuff. Those beautiful aluminum wheels looking pretty sharp, and we've got some wicked morning sunshine uh, billowing in here. Let me see if I can get us down below it. There we go. Always on side mount ladder there. All LED tail and marker lights gives us uh, more reliability and enhanced safety. And I wanted to show you a quick look with the ramp in the up position first. Um, something actually that's easy to miss is the fact that Jayco uses a different ramp door from pretty much the entire uh, RV industry. You see the radius edges on there. It comes from a completely different supplier and I like those radius edges just so it's one less sharp thing to jab me in the hip when I'm not paying attention. Maybe I've had a barley pop or two walking around my campsite. Not saying, I'm just saying. Also, you've got locking cam bars on that ramp door. So you have key lock security back here. And of course, we like to apply that optional ramp patio party deck to these things. And kind of like Jayco uses a different ramp, they actually use a different ramp patio. It sets up very quickly. It's it's very easy to use, which is one of the things I like about it. And it includes the, uh, I think for a little while these were called the victory step. I don't know if they're still called that, but basically a rear porch step, which is a, uh, I, I think a neat way of looking at it. It's like a, a back porch because if you look up here, you can see one of the other options we like to apply to these, and that is that retractable screen wall so that you can turn the whole trailer into something like a rolling three seasons room and keep some fresh air flowing through it and keep the bugs out. Uh, that is a easy tilt power awning. Your speakers are built right into the uh, awning arms, by the way, right up at the top. Plus there's, of course, LED lighting there. And speaking of that, you have a pair of really aggressive floodlights on either side of that uh, backup camera prep so that uh, if you wanna be outside or if you're loading stuff uh, in the uh, morning or night, or if you're just sitting here on the, on the, well, I guess the rear porch, the patio, the whatever you wanna call it, with some friends or just by your lonesome, kind of unwinding a little bit, you can do so a little bit earlier in the morning and a little bit later at night. And a quick hop up that rear ladder gets us up here to that plywood decked wide body roof, and that's a key thing. You don't find a lot of wide body plywood used in this industry, period let alone in the roof. Uh, very few manufacturers do any plywood decking in the roofs whatsoever. And this is another one of those things that ties into like a full feature toy hauler in a smaller package. You've got that solar prep plug right there. You also had a side solar prep plug for uh, portable panels uh, to go right along with this roof prep and just tons of real estate here. That's why we're looking at a big blank canvas right now. All the room you can ever imagine to put a solar system on the top of this RV. Now, pardon me as I uh, <laughs> having trouble putting words together. I don't know if you're looking at the tops of these campers. It's frosty, it is cold this morning. I can see my breath before I breathe it. <laughs> but that's the kind of dedication we have here at Halet RV. Each and every one of these trailers, you know, we've, we've climbed all over these to show you the ins and the outs of them. So, uh, you know, if, if you want a place that's willing to work a little bit harder for you, and also, a place that doesn't do hidden dealer fees. Come right into that building right there at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We will take care of you, just like you're one of ours. So uh, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. I gotta go warm up. <laughs>